And just about to get underway as the starting fives have been announced. Sit tight. We'll be back in just a moment. Sports presents the NBA Monday Night Basketball is coming right up. This is Kevin Harlan. We've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony at the table with me. And the fourth member of our crew, David Aldridge, our sideline reporter. Send it down to David Aldridge, standing by from the sidelines. David? <laughs> David, you are too nice. Thank you so much. And Westbrook, he is incredible. Thank you, David. Now let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. In the backyard, it's Ball and Levine. DeRozan out there with Johnson. And it's Vucevic in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Lakers, Russell Westbrook out there with Avery Bradley. And it's LeBron James. And there's Davis, and it's Anthony in a power forward. Greg, you were drafted 12th overall. Talk about early expectations as a first-round pick. Well, you know, everyone wants to see what you got. In reality, also, you want to see... what you have against the best players in the world so it'll take some time though to adapt to the speed of the game but ultimately it's about going out and competing or three Westbrook first
shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. What unselfish play from LeBron. You can tell he wants to get everyone involved. Ball finds Levine. Outside to Rosen. Six on the shot clock. And Davis pulls it down. And so it's Davis bring the ball up for Los Angeles. It's a three-point game. Westbrook, no good. So the Bulls, the last game, a win against the Clippers in Los Angeles. DeRozan in the corner. To the inside, Vucevic, good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. DeMar is a magnet for defensive attention. You see the overreaction leading to a wide open man. And Davis can't get it to go. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. Here's Vucevic. That one's no good. That makes him one for two. Los Angeles has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. James. Banked in off the glass. The raw power of James excels at taking on physical defense and finishing. Outside ball. Fade away. Johnson can't hit. Lakers have gone two for four from the field so far today. Davis dishes to Carmelo. Offline with his three. For Chicago, they've gone just one of four to get this game started. Here's Ball, and Davis sends it back. The combination of agility and reach makes AD a lethal defender, capable of sending shots back from anywhere. And last year, Carmelo Anthony climbed into the top 10 all-time in scoring. Well, I mean, he's a surefire Hall of Famer, and he may never get that NBA title, but you factor in college and international play, and there's no doubt he'll be in Springfield. That's good from Anthony. So Anthony nails both of them. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Levine up top, guarded by Bradley. Vucevic against Davis. Vucevic to the pass, the ball. And for the ball out of bounds, Davis touched it last. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. And this, the second season of Anthony Davis's five-year, $190 million extension. And he admitted that with his injury history, that long-term security was a consideration.
First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. And AD's injury woes rearing their head last season as well, Greg. We saw it missing a number of games. Well, a, a big man with his athleticism, a lot of stress on the legs. LeBron's gotten him on the same nutrition and treatment regimen. Hopefully, that'll help. And so it's Davis He'll bring the ball up for Los Angeles. Got a piece of it. Vucevic against James. And it's ball that time on the assist by Vucevic. Well trained in blocking out distractions. Ball doesn't let a little contact affect the shot. LeBron outside. Driving to the basket. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early. And he's delivering. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start. And he can help with that. Trains the three-pointer. This demonstrates how confident Levine is. He knows he has the trust of his teammates to fire quick shots. James looking it over. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Westbrook against Johnson. Outside DeRozan. Over Davis. DeRozan's shot is off. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. The shot by Anthony, no good. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. Fires from 14. And the shot no good, a bit short. The Lakers have gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. Westbrook with the bucket. And you see the team first mentality of Anthony Davis wanting to involve his teammates. There's Levine. That's it. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. The three from LeBron. Rebound by the Bulls. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Levine passes to Vucevic. Back to Levine. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's DeRozan. Hits from the high post. He has great size and he has great lift on his jump shot. Advantage, DeRozan. LeBron passes to Davis. Back to James. Lakers working the ball around now. Basket counts. One sign of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Bulls trail by three. Now here's Vucevic. Boy, was he something else against the Clippers. There's an element to Nikola Vucevic's game that fits well with most of the league's modern offensive scheme. And with his inside-out game, He's a guy that can stretch the floor. And Kevin, when you look at today's NBA, nothing is more important than spacing and passing. And when Vucevic is on the court, you can be sure the spacing will be excellent. And that one misses. Well, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. Patrick Williams, he's checked in for Johnson. He hits the second from the line. And one of the most underrated bigs in the NBA. Vucevic quietly dominates on a consistent basis. Now here's LeBron. Turned in an outstanding game against San Antonio. In the corner, it's Westbrook. And Vucevic pulls it down. Chicago trailing here. Outside the Rosen. Passes to Vucevic. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That'll be his second foul of the game. The question is, do you leave him in 
Obviously, you don't want him to pick up a third foul this early. And the Lakers making a change here. Howard's checked in, and Vucevic kicks to Williams. Back to Vucevic. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And that's the seven-foot difference for Vucevic. Tough defense, contact. It doesn't do enough to throw off his ability to make that shot. Bulls shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. Yeah, pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts right around 78%. Horton Tucker's checked in for Los Angeles. Kendrick Nunn comes in for Avery Bradley. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. And going against Chicago, their first meeting of the season. Yeah, and they swept this matchup the two times they played last year. They held the advantage on paper and on the court. But hey, it's a different season, and anything can happen. The offensive rebound. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be, because he is so strong in the paint. Pass to none. LeBron outside. Six to shoot. He feeds it to Howard. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Some changes for Chicago. Green is checked in for DeRozan. Kobe White comes in for Zach Levine. And it's Alex Caruso in for Lonzo Ball. Chicago leading. White with it. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. It's Vucevic, top of the key. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Vucevic has got eight points. And when you've got Vucevic's height, he can make coverage a non-issue. He just shoots right over the top of the defender. Now here's James. Some stats for him. He averages over 21 points a game. Right wing. Here's Caruso. No good with the triple. LA has gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Here's Horton Tucker. Vucevic defending. Horton Tucker. That's good. Chicago with the ball. Here's Caruso. And the shot goes in. And the Bulls lead by three. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Westbrook passes to James. Back to Westbrook. In the corner, none with it. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. The Bulls leading by three. Green left side. Over Westbrook. And that one goes long. The Lakers shooting 40% here in the early stages. Power dishes to James. Now the pass to Horton Tucker. Outside Westbrook. None wide open. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. Chicago's gone 1-2 from long range in the first quarter. And it's White missing. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. It's a shot you would think he would make, but he just doesn't make it all the time. Puts it up from 12. A rebound by the Lakers. The last game, a win against San Antonio, looking to carry that into this one. Well, in that one, they just had everything working offensively. It's a lot of fun when you get into that kind of a group. You know, I love what the coaches did tonight. They pushed the right buttons time and time again. Vucevic and the defense really pressing up on him. Made that a tough shot. They hold the early advantage on the glass. Tipped away and stolen by White. Feeds to Vucevic. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stance for the Bulls. Their aggressiveness on D has been the most glaring aspect of this game so far. They have the heat turned all the way up in this first half. 
and also defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight. And, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Wayne Ellington's checked in for James. Malik Monk comes in for Russell Westbrook. Rajon Rondo is subbed in for Kendrick Nunn. 143 left to play here in the first. Outside Rondo. Inside. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Jones. Poke loose. Here's Vucevic. The second effort. Dwight Howard pulls it in. His struggles from the field continue. Yet, they still hold the lead. Ellington with it. Williams picks him up. And the foul on Patrick Williams. That is his first foul of the game. Howard finds Ellington. Back to Howard. Five to shoot. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one on Vucevic. And really, Howard is so adept at drawing contact, using those bruising shoulders and muscular frame to his advantage. Shoot two. First one falls for him. And the defensive prowess of Howard is simply phenomenal. Not only a shot blocking master, but his mere presence alone makes shooters incredibly nervous. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. Three point lead. Right, the pass to Vucevic. Makes it off the glass. Vucevic has got 13. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Here's Horton Tucker. Vucevic defending. Here's Horton Tucker. Chicago grabs the miss. Vucevic has got six rebounds now in the game. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Pass to Caruso. Kicks it out to Jones. White looking around. Let's a floater go. And here is Ellington for three. The shot's good from Horton Tucker. Tucker's got his second basket of the game. Nikola Vucevic firing on all cylinders for Chicago. He made his mark in a big way on the boards in that quarter. We'll return shortly. And now, in his mid-30s, Rajon Rondo still going strong. He shed some light on how he's able to remain in top four. I feel young. I feel um, athletic at times. I still feel fast. feel good. My body feels great. Lifting, yoga, whatever it takes to take care of my body. And Rondo's riding a strong second chapter to his career for sure. And four all-star appearances and a title in Boston so some had ridden him off but he's showing he is not done yet and we hope you're enjoying the game both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far in the scoreboard and before we move on what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Bulls I mean offensively I thought they did a good job of protecting the ball and defensively boy were they disrupted winning the turnover battle here early on and you see that reflected in the score. So with Davis sitting on the bench, this is who Frank Vogel is out there. They've got Monk, 
Howard is out there with Anthony. Then there's Wayne Ellington. And it's Rondo in at the point guard position. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, the league remains in love with three-pointers, but DeMar DeRozan remains true to his game. He says, if I see 100 people walking left, that doesn't mean I'm going to do the same. I see this clear path and want to stay right. Shooting threes, I feel like I'm settling. Whereas I think any time I drive, I'm going to score or get fouled. Kevin, different strokes for different folks. Yeah, but DA, I love that strategy. Thanks for that story. Here's Caruso. Outside Williams. It's over Ellington, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. And the Bulls lead by four. Greg, you've got a unique view of the league, not just a former player, but great broadcaster, courtside all these games, but also as a father. What's that journey been like? It's been surreal, Kevin. You know, anytime you have a child that has a passion for something you're passionate about, it creates a special bond. And to be able to watch him live out his journey has been incredible. And what a blessing. Uh, I would wish we'd all get to have that experience in some capacity. And again, the Lakers, no good. The Bulls leading by four. Down low. And it's Williams finishing it off. And when you're a high-usage player like Vucevic, you have to keep your head up and be willing to make the next pass. Now here's Rondo. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And the layup falls. Bulls have gone three of four from the floor here in the second quarter. Chicago calls timeout. They come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. And really complete control of that game. If you recall, guys, they made sure they didn't have to sweat that one out down the stretch. They did a phenomenal job putting that game out of reach. They really know how to put teams away. And some changes here for the Lakers. Davis has checked in for Howard. Ken Bazemore comes in for Wayne Ellington. And it's Avery Bradley in for Rajon Rondo. Chicago also making some changes. DeMar DeRozan, he's checked in for Williams. Lean comes in for Jones. And Ball subbed in for Alex Caruso. Ball. Bradley with some nice D. Lakers trailed by four. Now when Lonzo Ball entered the league in 2017, Greg, there were major questions about his shooting. And he struggled, of course, during his rookie year. Yeah, and, and shooting 30% from deep and under 50% at the line. But credit to Lonzo. He's put major work into his stroke, getting that free throw percentage to over 75% during his fourth year in the league. And his three-point numbers, they've also improved greatly. Monk's shot's good. And one of the more underrated elements of his game. This is a guy that's always in control. Love seeing him finish even with the contact. Now here's Levine. He's coming off a 22-point game against the Clippers. And now it's Davis running. He can go all the way. That ties the game. So dangerous on the defensive end. Quick hand by Bradley, and he stole it away. Levine against Baseball. The creativity, extreme athleticism. You see why Zach's won the dunk contest multiple times. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. Went to rise up and swat that one away. Bradley can't get it to go. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. They get to take on the Blazers at Portland after this one. That will be the fourth of the string of five played on the road. Levine kicks to DeRozan. Back to Levine. 
just five on the clock. Vucevic trying to get open, and Davis pulls it down. Davis has got his fourth rebound in this one. Anthony's shot is off. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Baysmore against Levine. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Levine's got nine. So reliable. They've really leaned on him at the offensive end. So the Lakers call timeout their first. And, and Smitty, nobody's accused Levine of being a stellar defender. But the young man has improved in that area the last few seasons. Greg, he's always had the physical tools to be a good defender. It's been his awareness that's kind of held him back. But his weak side rotation and his D has gotten a lot better. And Los Angeles with some changes. James checked in for Kent Bazeman. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Malik Monk. The Bulls also changing it up. Johnson's checked in for Vucevic. And it's Green and for Dostumu. Now here's Westbrook. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against San Antonio. Loads it up for Davis. Up high to stop the alley -oop. What a beautiful play. And it was great timing. Then the athletic finish by AD. Levine and foul on the shot he'll shoot two at the free throw line and Kevin you tend to forget this about Levine I mean he's still so young you feel like he's been in the league forever it's his first trip to the line he's been doing really nice work at the line 83 percent First one at the line is good. You know, Greg, I was just thinking about Zach Levine and his age. He's just now in his mid to late 20s. And he's grown so much since that rookie year. Excited to see what numbers he can put up as he gets ready to enter into his grind. And so Levine nails both of them. Despite facing criticism along the way, Zach Levine's blocked out all the haters. Now he's one of the most prolific scorers in this league. Now here's LeBron. Six points for him. Now ball. It's stolen by Anthony. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Green dishes the ball. Passes it to Johnson. Westbrook against Green. Clock at four. Takes it inside. And Green slams it in. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Westbrook passes to Davis. Stolen by Ball. On the wing, Johnson. Back to ball. Here's Green. And it's Green slamming it down. The floor awareness of ball excels at getting the ball to his uncovered teammates. Pass to Davis. Back to Westbrook. And that one falls, coming off of Davis's speed. Davis has got his third assist on the night. Strong defense on Westbrook. It's a double-edged sword, though. 
He sees the challenge and just wants to attack it. Now, here's Ball. He had 13 points in the win against the Clippers in Los Angeles. And not only was he creating for himself, he was setting up teammates with good shots. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And he's putting together a solid year at the free throw line, 79% overall. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles, Horton Jocker comes in for Davis, and it's Kendrick Nunn in for Bradley. And a great job from the line this quarter. They've gotten their percentage way up there. Lakers trail by nine. Right side, Westbrook. Here's Horton Tucker. He's guarded by Johnson. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Kobe White, he's checked in for the Bulls. Chicago with the ball. They're on a 13 to 4 run. Outside Green. Here's Levine. And he uses the glass on the layup. Levine's got the lead up to 11 now for Chicago. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. DeRozan against LeBron. For Johnson and James gets it to go. LeBron's got eight points. And in the history of the game, few players LeBron's size have handled the ball as well as he does. The pass to DeRozan. White bounce pass. Green kicks to Levine. Lock at six. And it's off from three point range. The pass to Westbrook. Pass to Anthony. Stolen by Levine. In transition, here come the Bulls. Levine with the ball over Anthony. And Chicago scoring again. Man, he has been locked in this quarter. Shouldering the load at the offensive end. James with it. Now guarded by DeRozan. LeBron kicks to nine. The shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Levine, that one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. And a lot of teams avoid the mid-range jumper, but they seem to be using it well. Westbrook up top. He's guarded by Johnson. Now here's Westbrook. He's got eight. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the layup. Ten points for him. And this team encourages Westbrook to look to score inside. You can see why with these results. Levine inside the three-point line. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Los Angeles calls timeout. And coach most likely wants to address their turnover issues. The offense looks forced right now. Rush. There's no synergy to it. They have to find a way to work together and remain aggressive without making mistakes. White Howard's checked in for Carmelo Anthony. The Bulls also changing it up. Williams comes in for Green, and Jones subbed in for DeMar DeRozan. There's a minute 40 left now here in the second. Passes it to Horton Tucker. 
And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And for only one season at Iowa State for Taylor Horton Tucker, uh, the second round pick, you know, he's getting some notice. I like this kid, Kevin. A crafty finisher, makes plays for others, uses his length defensively, and he can fill up a stat sheet. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Levine with it. 19 points in the game. Here's Williams. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. First trip to the line for him here. one falls for Williams. And they've done a better job at the line this quarter. They've got that free throw percentage up to almost 90%. Alex Caruso, he's checked in for Chicago. And Williams drops them both. 119 left here in the second. Westbrook against White. Westbrook passes to Nunn. Outside Westbrook. Shot clock at five. James outside. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. Here's Jones. No points in the game yet for him. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. None kicks to Westbrook. 36 seconds left in the second quarter. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. Johnson, the pass to Caruso. And here's Jones. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Pass to Caruso. Shot clock at six. Here's Williams. And the Bulls with another miss. Ron right side. And that comes off the assist by Dwight Howard. James has got four points in the quarter. The tremendous strength of LeBron on display. Going right through the contact. And so it's Chicago. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They've had active hands and have forced a lot of turnovers in this one. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by. Okay, appreciate it. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Zach Levine led the way in the first half. He ended up with 19 points, four rebounds, and one steal. It's been quite a night so far for him. What'd you think, Shaq, about Chicago? Well, we know the coach is happy. Steady start to the night for them. They're not wasting possession. They've built a nice lead. They continue to limit their turnovers. They're going to be tough to beat them. And Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Lakers. Right now, they're shooting in the low 30s from the outside. 
In today's style of Florida offense, that's not enough to force the defense to expect. They have to work on getting better quality shots. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. You look at Zach Levine, he's really been playing well. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. The Bulls leading by nine. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. Taking a look at the Bulls. In the backcourt, it's Ball and Levine. Johnson is out there with the roast. And it's Vucevic in at the five down low. He really can't buy a bucket, but his teammates have his back. Anthony, the pass to Westbrook. And here's LeBron outside. That shot off. And the Bulls going the other way now. Ball dishes to DeRozan. Have three misses and as many attempts. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. That free throw good from Anthony. And the Lakers making a change here. Davis has checked in. Both free throws good from Anthony. Here's Vucevic. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Seven-point differential. Johnson with the bounce pass to the paint. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. They just don't have it right now. 0 for 4. Must have been one poor speed at halftime. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Levine against Anthony. Levine passes to Johnson. Ball surveying the defense. Six to shoot. Vucevic gets double team. And the Bulls with another miss. Ouch. Five shots without a make. That's a really ragged start coming out of half. Levine against Davis. Count it good. Davis has got his third basket of the night. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Ball no good. Lakers trail by three for the tie. And Davis can't get it to go. Ball against Bradley. And it's Ball penetrating. No luck. They batted on the glass but couldn't knock it down. Outside Anthony on the wing. It's James picking up the assist. James has got his fourth assist in this one. The Bulls shooting not great, 40% for the game. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And this is year one of LeBron's two-year $85 million extension. And Greg, that will take him through age 38. And that will amount to $435 million in career earnings the most all time and it wouldn't surprise me if he's got a few more years left in the tank after that
Davis against Vucevic. Outside ball. This one for three. Good on the triple. Ball's got eight points. With slightly revised mechanics, Lonzo has become a more consistent threat from downtown. James, the pass to Davis. Johnson against James. LeBron with the block. And they get it back. Outside, ball. Just five to shoot. Knocked away. Stolen by Westbrook. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Loads it up for Davis. And finished off by Davis. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Craig, with a terrific feel for each other. Levine with it. Westbrook picks him up. Bulls moving the ball around. The Lakers with the rebound. Right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. Wayne Ellington's checked in for the Lakers. And Chicago also making a switch. Osumu, he is checked in for Johnson. Lakers have gone 4 7 to get things started here in the second half. DeRozan against Anthony. Chicago's gone 1 2 from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. And Vucevic kicks to DeRozan. And there's the pass to Ball. Unloads from 13. That one wide left. Los Angeles has gone 0 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. That's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Malik Monk, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Rondo comes in for Russell Westbrook. And here's Rondo. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Now Monk, lock at six. And again, the Lakers, no good. Here's Ball. Terrific assist, a nice finish. Solid play all around. At 6'6", six, six, Lonzo has the height to work in the lane and take defenders on. Anthony with it, now guarded by Vucevic. With the putback, Davis on the follow. Davis has got six in the quarter. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for Chicago. The lead is two. Pass to Vucevic. Here's Levine. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Levine's got 21. Each year, Zach seems to improve as a score. A testament to his strong work ethic. Davis, the pass to Carmelo. Again, the miss by Anthony. He's doing what he can to help them cut into this lead. His shot just isn't quite there tonight. Hey guys, let's get your take on the hustle steps for the Bulls. They've been playing such pesky defense. It's been very impressive, especially all the turnovers they've caused. Yeah, but also, they, they haven't missed a beat in terms Two of their shot. fast break game. That's been equally as effective all night long. And he knocked down the first one. If you're a point guard and you want the ball at the end of games, you have to knock down free throws. That's something Lonzo Ball is working on, in my opinion. Horton Tucker's checked in for Anthony. Chicago also making some changes. Williams comes in for Vucevic, and it's Green in for Levine. And so he hits both. 
Lakers trail by six. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Back to Ronda. Ellington inside the three-point line. It's all in by the Bulls. Bulls got his eighth rebound here tonight. Driving the lane and blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Davis, the pass to Horton Tucker. Back to Davis. Now, here's Monk. He kicks it to Ellington. Trying to get open is Davis. They get it again. And the layup's good off the glass. Davis has got eight points here in this quarter. I love watching AD work on the glass, using his size to keep plays alive. Ball finds William. Now, here's Dosumu. Over Monk. Here's Williams, and Davis sends it back. Pass to Horton Tucker. Yep, that one goes. And now, just a two-point Chicago lead. There were a lot of ways he could have finished that one, but he decided to keep it classy with the finger roll. Chicago calls timeout. And just trying to get some traction offensively. Boy, it hasn't been pretty. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. White Howard, he's checked in for Wayne Ellington. Kobe White, he's checked in for Chicago. Alex Caruso comes in for Lonzo Ball. Los Angeles on D. Caruso, the pass to DeRozan. And that one, good. And the Bulls lead by four. Right in the teeth of that defense, DeRozan explosive through contact. Davis against Green. Davis kicks to Monk. Trying to get open is Davis. The shot by Monk is no good. Well, Chicago has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Pass to Caruso. Outside Green. Outside Williams. Five on the clock. The pass to DeRozan. That's the free fly. And it's good assisting on the play was Williams. DeRozan's got seven points. Why not? When you have a score like DeRozan, keep going to the well. Rondo finds Davis. Over Green. And that one hits back iron. The Bulls leading by seven. Williams passes to Caruso. They kick it out to Green. Off target from three-point range. Lakers shooting 39% from the floor since the half. Not really what they had in mind. Davis against Williams. Here's Caruso. To the middle. Here's Green. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one on Davis. Yeah, nice strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. For Chicago, they have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. And the Lakers making a change here. Nunn's checked in. Jones checked in for the Bulls.
Oh, free throws. Good from Green. Impeccable from the line since halftime. And none has got the ball here for the Los Angeles Lakers. They trail by nine points. Good work there as it goes. Nunn got his second bucket of the game to go. Now Chicago has gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. White dishes to Green. Here's Caruso. And a miss there on the triple. And Los Angeles guys dash 43% for the game. Howard in the post. Working on Williams. The Bulls leading by seven. And Jones has it in the corner. And the Bulls with another miss. And here is Los Angeles now. And after one year at UNLV, Derrick Jones Jr. going pro back in 2016. He's gone from an undrafted project to a dunk contest champion. Derrick Jones Jr., Greg, as we know, is a high flyer. In fact, he, he is a frequent flyer. Yeah, I mean, all the physical tools you look for in a wing player, Kevin. Tremendous length and athleticism, and he continues to develop his skill set and capitalize on those gifts. That one is off. A lot can be said about Davis's value on the offensive end. But never forget, he's a standout defender as well. No small feat to be a multiple-time NBA blocks leader. LeBron's checked in for the Lakers. And the Bulls making a change also. Johnson, he's checked in for Green. And the second free throw, good. Chicago leading by six. Jones, the pass to White. Here's Caruso. Pass to Williams. Over to Howard. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Davis has got 13 rebounds in the game. Classy. Here's Horton Tucker. He's got nine. James outside. Just four to shoot. Williams with the block. And here we go, the Bulls fast break. Jones for three, buries the long-range jumper. Jones has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Over the taller defender, this is why you have to stay connected to shooters on the perimeter. And let's give him some credit. He read the situation well. He created some space, and he delivered. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. And some changes here for the Lakers. Anthony comes in for Dwight Howard. And Russell Westbrook subbed in for Taylor Horton Tucker. The Bulls leading by nine. 43 seconds left to play in the third. Outside White. Another three for Chicago. And that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Jones against James. Outside Westbrook. Passes it to Davis. Over Williams. And there's another turnover by the Lakers. Off on the timing, or it may have been a miscommunication. Either way, turnover. Chicago's gone to the three-point shot eight times already in the second half and hit four of them. And stolen by LeBron. It's Bradley on the wing. Back to LeBron. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's Chicago. Enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. Their defensive mindset clearly focused on clamping down on LeBron James. And their game plan is working. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here.
Now let's listen in to Frank Vogel's huddle. Shrink the floor. When you're on the ball or closing out, close out faster. Okay, take away their airspace and then contain their drive. And that's the catch-22 there. Frank Vogel wanting better perimeter defense, but also wanting to limit forays to the hoop. Yeah, and it takes tremendous discipline to do that. Don't leave your feet, don't reach, and everyone help each other defensively. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. LeBron James is out there with Anthony. Then there's Avery Bradley. Then there's Russell Westbrook. And it's Davis in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the Laker five. Outside, White. Just five to shoot. From deep. Good on the three-point shot. White's got the lead up to 13 now for the Bulls. Defensively, they just look out of sync. Not closing out on the threes in time. LeBron against White. James. Over Jones. Offensive rebound. Here's Anthony. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Free throw is good. Vucevic checked in for Alex Caruso. Both free throws good for Anthony. The Bulls leading by 11. Outside, White. Outside, Levine. A three-pointer off the mark. Lakers shooting about 42% so far. Outside, Anthony. Still trying to shoot his way out of this funk. But if it doesn't come within the floor of the offense, the whole team suffers. And then Levine with the jam. Kobe White keeping his head up, shows great vision, and delivers a great pass. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. The kick out to Westbrook. Here's LeBron. The jumper's good from inside six feet. He's one of those guys who is extra difficult to block out. When LeBron really wants a rebound, it's hard to beat him to the ball. Here's White. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. James, the pass to Davis. Over Johnson. And Davis can't get it to go. And so is Jones. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. Levine's shot is off. Westbrook scanning the floor. 18 feet out. Anthony. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, just superb focus there for Mello. Overpowering the D and still finishes. So for the Bulls. DeRozan comes in for Derek Jones. And it's Lonzo Ball in for Kobe White. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Levine finds Vucevic. That will fall for his seventh bucket. Seven for 15 in this game. Up in his playmaking skills, when Levine notices an open teammate, he whips the pass over. Westbrook passes to James. And they double up James. No one near. 
Westbrook as he lets it go. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. LeBron's got five assists in the game. And Levine, here we go. And that one is good. Levine's got 25 points in the game. Ooh, really showing his athleticism. Hard for defenders to stay in front of Zach. In the corner, Bradley with it. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. In that first half, guys, they didn't shoot nearly as many threes as they have here in the second, trying to use that shot to stay in the game. There's Levine. He points it again. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. The offensive IQ AD possesses is special. Smart at knowing how to get himself going. The Bulls leading by four. Not loose. Here's DeRozan. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. On the wing, Levine, guarded by Bradley. Johnson outside, and it's Ball in the corner. Four on the clock. Over LeBron. Making a great play to challenge the shot. LeBron's D can shut you down. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. And every miss finds its way to his hands. Well, what an impressive performance. And we have to give him props. It's rare these days to see someone dominate the glass so single-handedly. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Count that bucket. Levine's got six here in this quarter. Not shot from outside. There, there's no doubt about that. Spreading the floor and hitting them up. Westbrook dishes to James. Yes! And the foul. Lonzo Ball picks one up. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. And that drops, so they now lead by one. The durability and endurance of LeBron at this point in his career is astonishing. And Vucevic kicks the ball. Outside, Levine. It's hauled in by LeBron. LeBron's got six rebounds here tonight. Davis, the pass to Westbrook. It's stolen by Vucevic. Outside, ball. Pass to Vucevic. Johnson with the bounce pass. It's stolen by Davis. Here's Westbrook. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. It's on Zach Levine. And the defense should know Westbrook will not back down. He goes right into the defender and gets a chance for an end one. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Lakers? Anytime you get as many points from the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going. Yeah, but also, they haven't missed a beat in terms of their fast break game. That's been equally as effective all night long. The free throw drops for Russell Westbrook. One of the big surprises with the NBA draft the trade of Russell Westbrook. Westbrook let it be known he was open to another move. It'll be interesting to see how he fits next to LeBron in AD this season. Here's DeRozan. Trains it from 17 feet out. 
After a lackluster first half, he's taken charge offensively. We'll see how the defense responds. Here's Westbrook. And against the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And I think the contact helps Westbrook. I mean, so competitive, this guy invites that bump. And now in the second half of his career, Russell Westbrook wants rings. He knows he's getting older and has no time to waste. It's why he plays with such passion. And Westbrook's high motor is why we love him. He goes out breaking and competes every play in every game. Uh, no doubt, but I tell you what, he's tired of missing out on the NBA. Oh, wow. Puts the body control on full display. Levine's good at adjusting to contact. throw good Levine this is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second ball against Westbrook with the drive and he goes big with the jump right over Lonzo ball and there's the ferociousness gotta enjoy Westbrook taking flight and slamming it down there with authority the pass to DeRozan timing on the rejection. You better watch out when LeBron is around. Lakers leading by four. Outside Westbrook. Outside Davis. And DeMar DeRozan pulls it down. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. Unforced errors. These are the kinds of things that break momentum. Los Angeles has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Here's Davis. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got his third assist on the night. Westbrook against Ball. Outside DeRozan. No good on the triple. Lakers shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. Westbrook passes to Anthony. It's stolen by Johnson. DeRozan with it. Outside ball. Outside DeRozan. Back to ball. Westbrook with the steal. Goes up. And finished off by Westbrook. In energy. Westbrook's effort on D leads to a hoop. You're not going to outwork this guy. And Levine, here we go, takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Levine's got 11 here in this quarter alone. Here's Westbrook. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. The absolute fearlessness. It's why we love Westbrook. Just getting after it and drawing the contact. Free throw missing. Hard to believe that Westbrook is in his 30s. Elite burst. He's still one of the more feared players for opponents. Chicago making a switch here. White's checked in.
and he sinks the second. Chicago calls timeout. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out, contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. And now, a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Anthony Davis. And when he's been on the floor, it has been a clinic in rim protection and shot blocking. He's played the defense of three men tonight. His block total has gotten to a point you almost never see in an NBA game. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to listen to what Billy Donovan said to his team. He said, look, you guys are playing physical, and I like that, but it has to be under control. We've committed way too many fouls. We've allowed way too many foul shots. Kevin? Thank you, David. And they get the rebound, but guys, that's been the issue throughout the game. Here's Levine, and the rejection by James. They push it up, four on three. And here's Davis for three. Another shot. And Westbrook with the layup. Westbrook's got 26 points. The best rebounding point in the association. Westbrook hitting the offensive glass with a purpose. To the inside. It's going by Davis. Westbrook up top. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. It's good. And now it's a nine-point Laker lead. Chicago has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Pass to Vucevic. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. Lakers leading by nine. Here's Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. The flush from Anthony Davis. Two very loud points. And here's Levine who brings it up for Chicago. The dish to Vucevic. Again with the block. Making his presence felt on this end. He's holding down the fort. Anchoring the defense. Davis with it. Now guarded by Vucevic. And here is LeBron. And Davis with the basket on the assist by James. Davis has got the lead up to 13 now for the Lakers. The Bulls shooting around 40% from the floor here. And clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for the Lakers. Look at the number of assists. You know, they didn't get stuck in those one-on-one -on -one situations. And they got the ball to the guys with the best matchups. Easy drive, open jumpers, and great ball movement. And this will be a big win for them. Lucky win number 13 now in the back. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And as we've come to expect, another big game tonight and an impressive exhibit for Anthony Davis. He was really important under the basket, making the plays down low and getting position to pull in rebound. Inspired tonight. They fought hard and at crucial points just made the plays. Especially during this last run, which ultimately put the game away. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. He has led this team in rebounding and also taken on the role of enforcer. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to. All right, David, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now.
For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.